Hey everybody, this is going to be part two of a much more expanded tutorial where I'll get into some sort of strategy and tactics and get into all the spells and how they really work and this should be kind of fun to get into. So we're, we just won our first game in the first video. If you didn't watch that, you should definitely start with that because I went over some basics. Um, so we're in match two now. Um, so... It gives you some tutorial. These are the tutorial levels, and they're very, very simple and easy. Um, so I'm going to use Rotisserie. I'm going to rotate this guy. So let me just give you my thought process here. Rotisserie is a really easy spell to use. I recommend for new players to start using that because it's very useful, and it's easy to use on, like, single monsters, early game kind of thing. So these tiles around me, they're going to just rotate in the direction I choose. So I click it, and it shows me, do you want to rotate, you know, clockwise or counter counterclockwise, basically? And... So if I just bump this guy here, that doesn't do me much good. In fact, that's bad. Um, now, I could just walk around and stuff until I get the right angle, like this, for example. Watch, I can go like this, and then I can go here, and now I'm in the right angle to kill him. But the problem is I just had to take a point of damage to do that. So generally, you want to... And sometimes you want to do that. Sometimes you actually do want to take damage to uh, get a good position. It's worth it. Um, and actually, right here, it kind of worked out kind of nice because I got the three-pointer and then the four-pointer. Uh, but usually, you can avoid taking too much damage. I mean, you do sometimes, again, it is optimal to take damage sometimes. But you want to be really selective about when you're doing it. Um, now, I'm playing way under my level here, so this is going to look very easy. Um, but uh, I think that uh, when, you're, when you're first learning, it's, uh, it's not so easy. So I just bumped that guy in, and now I can use this here. I didn't talk about this in the other thing, but the ultimate, this larger one, is called the ultimate spell, and you always have one ultimate. And the one ultimate that it gives you in the early ranks is called Blast, and you just pick a direction, and it's going to, like, fry two tiles in that direction. It's going to kill anything in that area and leave flames. It's also going to, like, bounce you back like a shotgun effect. Um... So we can use Blast to win this match. I could also use Rotisserie right now and rotate this way, which would rotate this rat into here, this rat here, and that would get me three points, which would be enough to win the match, you see? So, but I'm gonna use Blast so you can see it's in effect. Boom, see? Pushed me back, made a couple of flames, got me the points. So I won. And again, these early matches are gonna be pretty easy. I ranked up, I unlocked the Foxy. Um, she throws snowballs from two tiles away, and she tries to kind of keep her distance. Um, the Brute, um, they're like heavy monsters, so you can't just bump them normally. You have to use special effects on them, and we'll talk about that as we go in. Um, spells, or flow, or vortices, vortices, vortexes, I don't know how you like to say that. But now we're ranked two, you see? So I've leveled up already, and I'm still in bronze. There's, there's a few ranks in each, um in each uh, like league, if you will. And so, but we have a win streak. So, and as you go up, you get uh, more, like you, you go up faster if you get win streaks because the system is trying to basically correct for your skill. So now I gotta get 25 points. That's a lot more points. Um, this is Prince Roderick, my, I don't know if I've mentioned him, but he is my rival right now. And so now we see that there's a couple of these foxies here. Um, now they're evasive, so they see she's sort of key, she's not coming at me like this rat is. By the way, this brown rat, he's not going to hurt me. He's called a kissy rat, and they just kiss you and run away. So watch if I sit next to him. See, I was kissed. That doesn't do anything. It's just it doesn't hurt you. But he does use his ability. And rats, the interesting thing about rats is after they use their ability, they're going to run away from you. So he's going to start running away now. Uh, I'm going to bop her in while I have the chance. See, he's running away, but he I got him sort of stuck. He could run up this way or that way, but um, in this game, monsters won't really move if they have like two equal value moves. They'll, they'll, they, there's a system for their movement so that they never move randomly. And he's trying to run away, and that neither of these are away, so he he doesn't do it. The AI is very very simple. Actually, it's as simple as we could possibly think to make it. Um, and so I've got her trapped again. So that's good. Boop. All right. See so now I picked up a power tile there. Um, and so I'm recharging my um, ultimate, which ultimates start on cooldown. The other ones don't start on cooldown, so that's a that's a that's why it's sometimes it's good to uh, pick up power tiles even if you haven't used abilities. So I can easily rotisserie this guy into the water here. This is this is the classic rotisserie move. It's just use it like that. 
Um, now I found a rune here. See, that's the, one of these. That's a one-time use, kind of like a scroll in most uh, RPGs. Um, but I want to get you rid of this rune so I can pick this one up. So I'm actually going to, this is dash. We haven't talked about dash. Um, it's just shoots you two tiles in our direction. Um, and it leaves, uh, flow, which is the slippery stuff. We haven't talked about that much yet. And vortices of uh, uh, one, one vortex like this guy. We haven't talked about what they do either yet. Um, there's a bunch of these kind of like terrain effects that, uh, change what happens when someone is bumped into them. Uh, we'll, we'll get into all those. Uh, but, but for now I'm just going to dash over to this Foxy and then bop her in. And now that I've used that dash, I can, oh wait, I used this dash by accident. I meant to use this one. My bad. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to move up here. Well, actually, you know what? I guess I'll dash here. No, that's a bad idea. Um... I guess I will just uh, leave this for now. See, now I walked on this flow, and it's, it tells me what the flow does. And these, this only happens in the early games. Flow is ice that uh, coats tiles or water. Uh, it's slippery, so you can use it to bump monsters further or even push heavies. So, bop. I'm going to throw a snowball at him. Boom, there we go. Okay. Now, I kind of want to get rid of this so I can use this, but I'm gonna, I'm just going to keep going for now. Quilch sometimes will give you random little um, piece of advice. I could kill this guy with uh, with um, blast right now, but what's interesting is, so if I did that, remember the shotgun effect? It's gonna knock me into this this thing, and I'm gonna actually bounce back. These make you bounce. They're like think of them as like little ramps. They're like little wind gusts, and if somebody gets hit into them, they fly up in the air. So I'll show you what it looks like. See, I went boom here, and then I bounced to here. But I did get that, and now I'm only two points away from winning. All right, here's a brute. This is one of those heavies that we were talking about. Let's see if I can show you how they work. So, yeah, this is good. Brutes are too heavy to bump. Lure them onto vortexes or flow. Vor that should be vortices or flow, then send them flying. So, okay, I can't get them now, but let's watch this. Now he's on this little vortex. Boom. There we go. So, and now I'm going to rotate him. So you can use spells to move those heavies, you see. So that's a really good thing to know. All right, cool. I won again. So now, again, I'm playing way below my level. Um, I can do a placement test. Since I've been winning so much, I have a win streak of three. It allows me to do a placement test which will play me in actually a very high level game. And then based on what I get, it'll place me somewhere. Um, so I'm going to do that really quick. So you guys can see a, so a little bit more advanced play. Um, I'll probably play not that well, but uh, we'll see because I'm explaining everything. But so this is a uh, this is actually a master rank game. Um, but the score like you in the in these games, you just have to sort of do as well as you can do. Um, I'm not going to explain everything here because there's a whole, there's going to be a lot of weird stuff to uh, explain. But oh, and I actually got the um, the 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 early uh, ultimate. There's two other ultimates. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was totally by accident. Um, what do I need to do? All right, I don't want to get frozen by this lich, so I'm going to freeze him. I'm going to bop her in. Okay, now I got to deal with this lich somehow. Um, all right, so if I dash up here I can grab this power tile and then um, let's see uh, now these guys troggles are really interesting you can use them to get a lot of kills which is really cool so like if I move back that's uh, not gonna work because the witch is gonna freeze me um, I could just get out of here oh I can I'm, I'm just gonna do this boom kill him now, this Lich, he can attack from a range, but as long as I'm far enough away and keep running, he won't be able to get me. But the cool thing is, actually... Um, hmm. Alright, I have a snowball here. I think I'm gonna go here... Yeah. Okay, that was pretty bad. I took a couple points of damage. Now, you see the Lich froze me, so now when this guy attacks me, it's actually not gonna deal damage. See that? Pachink. All right, now he's a flyer. Flyers we didn't talk about much. The thing with flyers, if you knock them into the water, they don't fall in because they're flying. So um, you got to either freeze them and then knock them into the water, or you can kill them with fire, 
with like this ability this is a fire ability that you know the blast thing or you can knock them into a vortex so you see that right there bop got him okay i'm gonna do this next that's good i got a kissy rat here um oh uh i'm actually gonna freeze her and then uh walk over here i don't want this guy messing with me so i'm just gonna knock him out now the cool thing with flyers too is when you bump them they move back twice as far so that's pretty useful all right this works well uh well actually you know uh i don't know i guess i should do this bop him into the water um i need more power tiles so i'm gonna back off um Let's see. Okay, I could I could dash up to this guy and then bop him in to that vortex, which is good. Liches are very scary. That actually worked out really, really well right there, so I feel good about that. Now, bop you in. Bop you in. There we go. All right, this is Lord Vargas. He's, he's a problem because he makes these horrible things. They're called um, cinder squids. I'm going to just take care of Fort Vargas right now while I can. Um, now, here's another strategy, a piece of advice. Um, you generally don't want to use one spell on one monster. Oh, is this Trottle going to do what I think he's going to do? No. Yeah, he can't. He can't do that. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to rotate this rat in. Oh, this would be so good if I could set this up. But I don't think I can. Uh, ba 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 cinder squid i need to do something about him now this area you see is all depleted of um power tiles so i kind of gotta go to a new place all right i'm gonna kill that guy he's in the thing see he doesn't give me points that's another little annoying thing about him i guess i'll blast this troggle otherwise i'm gonna take some damage which i don't want to do because i'm pretty low right, i'm gonna i'm gonna zip down here now it made me bop because jump because i was in a vortex already and vortexes, when you move through them, they, they make you uh, bounce. Um, I'm going to do this because I know I'm about to pick up a bunch of power tiles. So it's good to use up all your spells if you're going to pick up a bunch of power tiles. Because you're going to just get them back anyway and they'll be wasted. Like you can think of it as if only one of your spells is on a cooldown and you're picking up a power tile. It's kind of like a less efficient power tile. Now I just spent a lot of time walking around so my, my combo is really low now actually. Boom. Um, I guess I can just do this. There we go. Yeah, so I'm doing pretty good on on points, but my, now my combo is really low, which is bad. Um, no, I don't want that. Okay, now it's starting to get really hairy. Let's see. Um, these, these fires, one neat thing about them is if you walk into them, they push everyone out. They explode and they push everyone near it out, which can be really useful. Actually, let's see. I think I can, yeah, watch this. This should be good. Yeah. So I think I should be able to get at least a kill on that lich. Yeah. You see it pushed, it did like a push effect on multiple things. Like it pushed the slime into the lich and then the, the lich fell in the water. But now I only have one health, so that was really risky and probably not the best move. Uh, I'm going to do an evasive dash, grab this. Uh, I'm pretty donezo. Let's see. That's something. He's making another cinder squid. That's awful because these things are not worth points. That's the thing. He makes them, so you might think that's good, but I may just want to, yeah, sacrifice myself for to get some more points. So that's a pretty good score, 78. Let's see where it put me, rank nine. Yeah, that's about, that's pretty good. That's in the silver category. Um, I'm somewhere between silver and gold, usually. I'm like somewhere between nine and 12 uh, in my rank when I'm playing my best. So yeah, that's pretty good. And now you see I'm in the silver rank. I have a new rival and I will, now I, here's a new ultimate too. So yeah, this is a, this is a pretty good intro uh, to the game. We learned about flyers and um, heavies, and yeah, there's a, there's a lot to learn in the game, but the basics are always just bumping, you know? Um, 
you're basically just want to push monsters into the water and then there's a bunch of rules about like how certain monsters act and uh that kind of and little details about spells uh i'm gonna see if i can use this ultimate one time before uh oh uh this is not the best uh well i'm gonna go in the water boop sometimes it's worth when you fall in the water by the way you come back to the start and you lose a barrier point of health basically um but sometimes it's worth doing that all right so let's see here so i'm trying to not get into a straight line of hers like if i were to walk here she would shoot, shoot me and hurt me so i don't want that um okay so abomination is a pretty complicated one uh let's see if i can get a good setup for it um this guy's gonna swap places with me. That might be okay. Oh, wow, okay, I didn't think that through. All right, so here's a nice simple use of Abomination. So I'm gonna cast it, and what it does is all the characters that are around you, surrounding you, you will uh, like sort of bounce them three tiles in the opposite direction, like over your head. So this Troggle right here, I'm actually gonna throw him, he's gonna fly there. If there was someone here, they would fly there, you see? And so everyone kind of like crisscrosses over your head. Now, because this Troggle's heavy, he's gonna crush this bat, so watch this. So I click it, click again, boom. So that's a nice little side use of the Abomination. Usually you just use it to throw people into the water. That wasn't the best use of it. And yeah, that's a good point, Quilch. Um, using spells actually does not pass your turn. I don't know if people have noticed that, but so here's a spell, no one's moving. I use a spell, still no one moved. And that's that's a big thing that I think maybe people don't get at first. And that's one of the things that makes using spells so powerful. I'm going to freeze this guy. Boop. Bop. I'm totally losing this one, like, extremely hard. Um, uh, is there anything else I can do? I'm out of... I have no rune. I have... Everything's on cooldown. Sometimes you're just out of moves and you got to see, can I just get a, a couple more points? Or you can just resign. You can just go here and hit resign. That's cool too. But uh, I think I'll let this Lich get the kill. And so she says some quip and I've lost. And you get to see the uh, failure screen. And actually you go down in rank. Um, if, you, if you lose enough, you can actually go down. So it'll take me down to rank eight eventually. So that's play mode, the basics of Oro. Uh, please read the wiki and um, just play the game and you know you'll 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 start picking up on these little details um read the little uh like information things click on the little help button and uh, there's a couple of other things you should know about when you click help here this is where you can get the manual uh i also recommend people go to the forum and ask questions there's a really good community there that's been playing this game actually for years and they really know it very well and you can also watch this video, which you're watching right now. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know what you thought of the video. And if you have any questions, and I can maybe answer them even in the video comments. So take care.